Jeremy S. Cook here, and I had a bit of a problem recently when trying to film one of my latest projects, a, a Strand piece that I'm building. You know, you can see here I tried to take some first person view footage with something strapped to my head, but I really didn't know where the GoPro camera was, was pointed. So what I came up with was a laser pointer fixture that actually shows where it's pointing just with a red dot. The design is 3D printed and uses a LiPo battery for the power supply. It can also flex up and down with the pivot on the GoPro itself. And there it goes on my head. You can see it here, I'm aiming around, it just points toward the center. Yeah, kind of like you're in a video game or something. It looks pretty, pretty cool. So first thing, of course, modeled up on Fusion 360, put a hole for the back that just goes, goes through the mounting hole on the GoPro. And there I, I put some extrusion for, cut out for the laser pointer, the circle, and the, the rectangle was the LiPo battery from Adafruit. Perpendicular to that, I put a rectangular hole that support the wiring so I could get everything through everywhere. It actually gives us some thought on this project, which was good. And then there, there's just a recession for the, the button that'll turn it on and off. So there is printing everything out. It looks pretty good there. And then this button's, you know, it's really tiny. Had a solder to that and then stuck it on with some hot glue after that. And you can see I just put a connector there, so in theory I can take this take this out and then recharge the battery when needed. Haven't tried that yet, but hopefully it'll stick together. I'm soldering one end to it and then testing that out with some dental style picks. And then there's the ground wire, just got it there, turned it on and now it'll point exactly where I want. Only other step was to zip tie down the wires so everything didn't get in its way. Looking pretty good there, and then I attach it to my GoPro Hero Hero 5. Used it in a session earlier, and it works works pretty well there too, as you saw. This looks good. You can see it's it's offset a little bit depending on if it's too close, but as it gets farther away, I mean that that difference, you know, that offset of the laser is kind of taken care of by the geometry of everything. So yeah, you can see it, see it looking around there, and let's see it test it out. So I'm walking over there in my shop and doing a little little filing. Aimed it with the laser and then it's yeah, right on target. And I could always crop it down later if I wanted to get it exactly in the middle, but you know, good estimates, good enough for a GoPro, which has quite the quite the wide field of view. So yeah, there I'm doing a little work and then I check it with laser pointer and everything looks good. So yeah, a simple video today. I'll put all the uh, put the STLs and stuff for it online and different instructions. So if you want to, you can build your own. Hope you enjoyed this short video. I do do all kinds of stuff like this. So if you if you liked it, be sure to subscribe or just give it a thumbs up or uh, share with your friends. Of course. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook signing off.